so does attribution become a problem because at one end you have the martech teams trying to push some campaigns you got the ad tech teams trying to push some campaigns and me as a consumer uh, or a customer i am actually seeing it on the web i am seeing a, a mobile app uh, you know code jumping in uh, suddenly yeah. i would have received an email uh, so how do you really build attribution and can you talk to me about attribution model because you do a lot of such stuff right so therefore how do you really uh, then reconcile the attribution given the fact there are so many such channels coming in yeah no attribution is 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 ever um challenging problem for marketing you know it's it's even till today i mean it's a, you cannot do a 100% accurate attribution in my opinion okay And again it depends on the campaign so if i'm doing an email campaign um you know even majority of the time i can you know 100% attribute and say hey you know i sent an email campaign to send this customers back to my website e-commerce website and they redeem the offer um and then you know they converted right so then you know you know clearly that this offer drove this many conversions right but as you said swami it's uh, when the channels increase right so when you are doing a lot of ad tech component of it right so i'm i'm targeting impressions uh when you're doing with those types of things then the information you get back is just at an aggregated level so you sh- you get like uh, you know hey i served a million impressions on new york times right but you know there were like you know 30% of clicks on those ads and i don't know who actually clicked on it so now you have to kind of look at you know how do i attribute this um you know 30% and how many people actually really converted is are those people really the ones who actually saw the ad in new york times we don't know right so you know one of the things that we have done in, to address the challenge again it's not 100% accurate but you know well, one way to do that is you know you you do a digital campaign you advertise it nationally so we did it for a for a um a company you know it's it's a gym club uh, company right so they had varieties of you know uh, gym clubs in different places and different locations uh but the company targeted a digital campaign nationally right and then they wanted to figure out how many of those people really joining the clubs at the specific location saw the ad and came okay right? so it is very it, it, so what we did was you know we looked at uh we looked at you know how many people how many impressions were served nationally how many people actually uh the clicks that we collected and then we had the people who actually joined the club so when people join the club you have their information you know who their last name first name their email address phone number physical address potentially right so now i have their information now what Correct. i can do is i can upload that information into an ad tech you know things like live ramp right so when mm-hmm. you upload it and they will convert you know the pii information and then they will try to find those those individuals cookies that are there in the digital world right mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. when the when you had served the ad before and those ads were also you know if if they had clicked and they also had a cookie there so now you do a cookie match and see if these two people you know cookies really matched and then you say hey maybe this is the person who actually saw the ad did they come really because they saw the ad and join the club you know no we don't know i mean they would have seen the ad but they still came but you are just attributing because the cookies are, are are matching you're attributing that to yeah because they saw the ad maybe they you know we can say that yeah they saw the ad but they joined the joined the club so that's the best uh, approximation that you can make um, that uh, you know in terms of attribution right so there are tools today that are available you know they call this you know adobe has one of the tools you know attribution iq so what it does is you can send data from different channels you know and then it gives you an ability to model the data right so how do you want to attribute you know you you want to attribute for last touch you know what was the last channel that they actually saw and if it was an email channel i mean let's say you targeted somebody with digital campaigns on uh, on on the media side and then you also sent them an email 
and then they saw the last thing that they saw was an email then you attribute everything to the email then nothing goes to the you know the digital component of it right or you can do a first touch attribution you say everything goes to the the impression that i've served for them and nothing goes to the email part of it and then there is all those things in between that you can do and say i give certain weightage to this i give certain weightage to this and then i you know see what the attribution is right so there is all this different types of you know tools that are available that gives you you know 15 to 20 different types of statistical modeling that you can do for attribution uh, Brilliant. so Brilliant. these are all you know very various ways but in my opinion till date it, it still remains a challenge for marketers to you know determine the attribution accurately 